Hello, welcome to GeForce. We're at GDC. I'm Julian, and this is Frank, here to talk about what's been billed as NVIDIA's biggest announcement of the show. So we're here to talk about ray tracing technology. And from what I've heard, this sounds like paradigm shifting. This is the future of graphics rendering. Why is this so huge? Oh, this is a really awesome time. So I've been in industry for many, many years. I'm an old guy now. But started in film and uh, eventually moved into games. And one of the things that was used a lot in, in film was this technique called ray tracing. It simulates real world lighting, real world reflections, real world refractions. And honestly, in gaming, that wasn't really possible to do because it's a very processor intensive thing. So a lot of game technology faked a lot of real world effects. Mm -hmm. uh, and they do that through what's called screen space effects. Either it's screen space reflections and screen space having inclusion. And it's really a lot of trickery. So now ray tracing, as I understand it, is actually mimicking how light itself behaves. Is that exactly. correct? Exactly. I mean, think of ray tracing as almost what it sounds like. So from a light, it will trace a ray down to the ground and then hit the ground, maybe lose some energy and bounce up onto the wall right. and pick up the color of the wall and bounce off. Yeah, the light bends and refracts. The light does all these interesting things. Exactly. And now with ray tracing technology, we can mimic that. Now, as I understand it, something like a billion photons hit your retina every minute. So how close does it have to be to mimic that? Sure, so this was the big thing. Those ray calculations are very expensive and they bounce around the room, they lose energy, and you need lots and lots and lots of rays to do that. Yeah. Now, if you lower the amount of rays, what it means is everything looked very grainy. So actually the stuff that we've been building in NVIDIA here is some amazing technology to say, you know what, use very little rays, but we're gonna make it look beautiful. So the unique capability here is, so DirectX R really allows you to shoot these rays and use ray tracing in your game, but it's not gonna be fast enough unless you do something interesting to those rays and a low amount of those rays. So what we introduce as far as game works, ray tracing, is a set of denoisers. And basically there's a set of libraries that let you shoot very minimal amount of rays, like one ray per pixel, or maybe less in some cases, and denoise it where you can't even tell that it was uh, they used so little rays and make it look beautiful. That is the key difference which makes this applicable in real time. So we're at GDC, it's all about game developers and what they can use to bring into their games. So is there a way for them to actually get a hold of ray tracing from GameWorks already? Yes, so on GameWorks on NVIDIA's website, there's gonna be a set of libraries coming in the next like 30 days or so where people can download some samples of how to use the technology as well as the libraries themselves. And we did it at a level where any engine or game developer can use this technology to uh, make fast ray tracing. What developers are on board already? We've got some great partners at the show this year, right? So like Remedy has got some great stuff going on already using this technology that we're working on together. Awesome. Really cool announcement. Really happy to be talking about it here at GDC. Frank, thanks so much for talking to us. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to GeForce. Plenty more coverage coming at you here from NVIDIA. So don't forget, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.